in this video, we're gonna create an auto respond bot with Discord Pi here in Python. So let's quickly look into the functionality that we are going to implement. So I can quickly create an auto respond, which says if we see the word hello, then we want to answer with hey, what's up? Now, I also have a method to showcase the current configuration and I'm using an index, which means I can quickly change based on the index what the response should look like. So now that I've edited for the hello, the answer should always be welcome. Now, lastly, I can also delete the items here in the autorespond and then therefore have nothing left. All right, we are now in the editor and all I have here really is my basic bot setup. The most important thing in here is the intents and I'm only using the message content intents that I've set here to true. Other than that, I have my load extension here because I'm gonna implement everything with commands collection. Let's start by creating the actual command auto respond because I want to type that every single time when I want to configure any new messages or needles or when I want to delete something you know, the stuff that we just saw in the introduction. So let's create the async dev auto respond. And this is in fact a command group. Therefore, let's say it is commands group. Now from this point onwards, I can therefore say auto respond dot command for each of the commands. Now, the first one that I do want to implement is the create command. Now, this will have the self-reference as well as the context. But here's the interesting part. We want to listen to certain messages. So when someone says hello, I want to respond with hey. Now, what is the hello in this example? It is the needle. So let's call this the needle, which is of type string. Now, in this very specific case, I want to make sure that we are using quotes, double quotes around the needle, but also about the answer that we are gonna send back or the message or whatever you wanna call it, right? So I am not using the um, asterisks here. Now, with this, let's actually also quickly define the other commands. So for the auto respond command here, decorator, we can say async dev, where we want the edit method. We also want the delete met method, because we want to delete whatever we have configured. And lastly, I want to have a show method. So I want to show everything that I've configured. Now, each of them, they need the self and context reference. So we can just copy paste all of that in here because we are not going to use databases in this example. However, the, the entire logic and everything that we do is the same, whether you use a database, whether you're going to connect to a REST API and get the stuff from there, or whether you're just going to use a uh, or whether you're just going to use a list like we're going to do in this tutorial. However, the list is really the easiest to get everything working here. And then you can slowly swap all of these things out with your database connection or with an API, depending on your current bot setup. So let's actually create an attribute here at the top. And I'm just going to call it the message list, which is an empty list. Um, this list holds our configurations. So whenever we say, hey, let's create an autorespond, we have a needle, something that we are looking for, and then the actual answer. So both of these basically become a configuration. And this configuration, we're gonna save into our message list or into the database, etc., etc. So let's actually do this by going to the create command here and say self message list and simply append a configuration. Now, what shall we call this? Let's call it the respond config. The wording might not be as good as it can get, but it's good enough for now. So respond config definitely has a needle 
attribute here where we put in the needle and it's gonna have the answer or the message let's actually call these this the message the message that we want to send once we find the needle in the content of a message so with this we pretty much are good for the create command by the way this is the most basic way of doing this i am not gonna go over how you have to check whether the message list is empty whether it already exists etc etc but let's focus on the show command right now because we can already finish up this functionality as well and simply say okay when i say auto respond show i want to see all the configurations that i have already set up so let's actually do this all we have to do is go over each of the message list items so i'm just gonna say dot 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 in a self message list now i want to use a very specific method here and i want to go over the enumeration of this so enumerate in python allows me to go over a list but it also gives me back the index of each of the items so Therefore, that's why I wrote the ellipsis here, because I wanted to point this out that we can now say index and then the item. Because now what we can create is a very specific line of code. So let's say the line is formatted string in which we say the index. So zero, for instance, and then hello, which is the needle that we are looking for in the respond config so i can now say here item and then the needle and that is going to be answered with so let's use an arrow or whatever the message so we can say here item and then message so that is roughly how the output is gonna look like now let's make this a bit nicer and say okay we're gonna have a final result here which is so this is the configuration use the index at the front to edit or delete now we're gonna say code equals to because i want everything in a code block so i want it nicely formatted and then lastly the code will be closed with the same characters and then i can say um, await context send result and the result is basically the result plus the code plus each of the lines so let's make sure that at the end of the line we have a new line character we can also put this here into the result just to make sure and then for each of the lines we are going to put that to the actual code so plus equals to append it at the end of the code then lastly we're gonna put the code with the final signs here so once we have constructed our code block here with all the different lines we then append it to the result and return the result here in the send. Now, I think we can already run this bot and see what is happening so far. All right, of course, I forgot to put the self reference here into our how to respond and also mention the context. That's why my code didn't work here. Now, let's actually run this auto respond create and then say i want to say hello and i'm gonna answer this with hi what's up so let's say auto respond show and we can see at index zero we are looking for the needle hello and we're gonna answer this with hi what's up so that is working as expected let's just create a second one here and say Thank you. Let's make sure that this is always written with the parentheses. So we say, you are welcome. And now if we run the auto respond show, 
we can see also the one for thank you, which is going to be answered with you are welcome. All right, let's put this aside. And now let's work on the edit and delete because they are so simple to do. Because let's introduce now the index as the parameter here. So we can say index and that is of type integer. We need it both for the edit and the delete. In fact, we can do the delete <laughs> immediately by simply saying self message list and then pop and provide the index because pop by default removes the last item from a list here in python but if we provide an index which we are getting from our message here zero one very simple solution or in case or in your case maybe from a database then we can just use that and delete it. Perfect, so for the edit, we're gonna use the same method here really, where we have to go over the message list, go to the specific index, and in here, we can now do something. So what we could do is we could provide a needle again or an answer. I'm just gonna say you can only change the answer here. So the needle cannot be configured just for simplicity and say, okay, once we have the index, then take the, the message attribute here of our dictionary and set the new answer there. So that should work as well. We can do a quick test before we go into the actual interesting part, which is finally answering and auto responding to the messages. So let's run this one more time. A simple copy paste of the auto respond, create hello, what's up? Then let's see if it worked by looking at the show. And now I'm gonna say auto respond, edit. And then at position zero, I want to say, um, this is changed. And now let's run the show one more time. And we can see now the hello will be answered with this is changed. So one last thing, let's say auto respond delete and use the index zero. And now if we put in auto respond show, then there's nothing. We should probably handle this nicer, but this isn't about that. So make sure that you handle errors and the verification here of the input yourself. And let's now focus on the actual message answering system. Now this is super simple because we're gonna work with the on message event provided by Discord Pi. So this will be the async dev on message, which has the self-reference as well as the message. Now we have to use the decorator here, in my case, for the command collection, which comes from the commands cock and then listener. Now, the next thing that I want to do, I want to check for three things. The first thing is, I don't care about any messages that was written by a bot. So if not message author bot, then I want to continue. The next thing is, I don't want to look into any messages that were actually commands. Now, remember, I'm using the bot subclass here and therefore I can access the command prefix. Therefore, I can say, if not self bot, which I have access to because of the self bot reference here with the setup as it's a command collection, you might need to double check where you have the reference to your bot. But I can say now the command prefix in and in what? In the message content. However, I, not exactly in. So let's say the message content um, start uh, starts with, I think, there we go, starts with. The next thing is, once we have passed that as well, basically we should also check if we actually have anything in our message list, because if we have not configured anything in our auto respond board, then there's not really any point of doing this. So in fact, we can do this 
Well, yeah, we can do it here or we can do it in the beginning. It really is up to you. So if len and then the self message list is above zero, then we can start working. Now you could do all of this in one line. Sure, why not? It's up to you. I just wanted to really make this clear to you. And that's why I wrote it in three different lines. However, it's not really nice to have this much of an intention there. Anyways, now what do we do? Well, we have to answer automatically based on the needle with our message. So what we can certainly do is we can say await and then self, uh, sorry, await a message and then go to the channel from the message where the message was sent to and we can send a message. And in here we want to send our message. Let's just call it our message, right? That is what we want to do. We want to answer. Now, when do we want to do this? when the needle is found in the message content we have already used that so how do we do this well let's go over each of our message list items here uh, we don't need to enumerate this because we don't care about the index here so let's just say for um what did we call them respond config respond config in a self message list then let's check if the respond respond config needle is in the message content if that is the case so let's say if respond config needle in message content uh, then answer and then we can also pretty much break the for loop here and stop now Let's try this out. Let's restart our bot. Let me get this code over. And let's create a very simple setting here. What did we have in the beginning? So other respond, create hello. And now if I write hello as a user, we do have a problem. Of course, our message isn't defined. Of course, I forgot to set this and that is of course here the response config and then the message so let's do a quick restart set up the auto respond you wouldn't need to do any of this by configuring it again and again if you were using a database but i'm sure you know that so let me write hello and the bot answers with hi what's up now bonus what do you have to consider here now if i were you i would definitely start putting all of this or more or less a lot of this part into an extra function here why and this is also why i use the dictionary here imagine the following this is definitely now a sensitive if i wrote a lowercase hello the bot will not answer so you might want to have an additional setup here and say case sensitive and you could have a bool here right case bool and say okay if it is case sensitive then we do this in uh, if response config needle in message content however if it's case insensitive meaning you don't care you could say lower behind here and also make everything to lower because then it doesn't matter right you could also have another setting here and say okay actually there might be is this a regex yes that could also be true or false now what is a regex a regex could be I'm not looking for a word hello here, but I look for numbers from zero to six and that times times 12, let's say, right? This is not how the regex would look like, but we say there are 12 numbers and they are from zero to six. And if that is in a message written, then respond with a link to a website because this number is actually a barcode you know just from the top of my head here 
you could configure it the same way. And then you will see that this on message event is becoming very, very long and very unreadable. So make sure that you put all of this into a separate function. And then at the end of the day, all you have to do is check with one if statement, did it pass? Do I need to answer yes or no? And then send the, the response. Okay. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you with this. If you want to see more like this, make sure that you subscribe and I see you in the next one.